We'll start off the work week with temperatures in the lower 70s. The temperatures dropping throughout the day on Monday, but first tomorrow that high temperature will be 80 degrees. Here's what I mean when I say the temperature is dropping on Monday. A cold front moves through right around the afternoon hours. So after that front moves through, we're going to slowly see our temperatures drop throughout the day. The precipitation chances are higher tomorrow and Monday morning, but after the front moves through, we'll slowly start to see less and less moisture in the Miami Valley, at least for two days. We're keeping the moisture through the weekend because of this low pressure system. That's why our rain's kind of been moving uh, the wrong direction, some might say. It's moving in from the south southeast tonight, so that's because uh, precipitation and air flows counterclockwise around a low, and this time the low is just south of us instead of to the north of us or right over the Miami Valley where we're used to. This position of this front, it's not moving too quickly, so there are some flooding concerns throughout Georgia up into the Carolinas and then even into Kentucky. Thankfully, the low is just far enough south where we're not dealing with those issues in the Miami Valley, and we're also not dealing with any severe weather threats. Looking at future track, you can see the low pressure just kind of hanging out until this cold front finally comes along and pushes it out of the way. But first, we do see our thunderstorm chances increase as we head into Monday or Sunday afternoon, evening, and really into Monday morning. That's going to be our best bet for seeing thunderstorms. Overall, mostly we're just going to see periods of, of, of rain, whether that's light, moderate, or heavy. It kind of depends on the time of day. That cold front moves through, and as that happens, our winds are going to pick up along and behind the front throughout the day on Monday. Here's what I mean by that. You can see we're seeing east southeast winds today and tomorrow still breezy tomorrow around 15 miles per hour. That front pushes through. We get winds sustained around 18 miles per hour as high as 25 miles per hour and our gusts could be closer to 30 miles per hour throughout the day on Monday behind that front. Those winds do shift out of the northwest. For now, we're seeing an east wind in Dayton on our Goodwill Auto Auction camera. The temperature is 73 degrees right now. Looking at Live Doppler 2 HD, we're starting to see some rain move into Warren and Butler County. Eventually, maybe Preble and portions of southern Montgomery County will see some light rain. This rain is going to continue to be pushing a little bit to the north throughout the night. So we'll see some periods of rainfall through the night. It will stay light though. 65 degrees, your low tonight. Cloudy with showers. Tomorrow we bump those rain chances up. Storms may be in the area in the afternoon. 80 degrees, your high temperature. Here's what you're looking at in terms of how much area we'll see rain. We take it from Sunday afternoon. Rain chances really increase Sunday night and into Monday morning. That's when we're going to see the most rain. Uh, so it'll be a little bit heavier during that time. In your complete Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, we keep rain through Monday, but Tuesday and Wednesday. So the mid part of the week is looking like the best with sunshine and temperatures there in the lower to mid 70s. A little bit something for everybody. Temp staying down. We got some sunshine, but you got to pick your spots. At least I don't have rain all week long. There you go. Thanks, Carly. Hot some good.